So some of you may remember this tool right here called vectorizer.ai, which I've shown off in many, many videos. It is something that I use almost every single day and it's helped me massively with increasing the quality of my AI artwork. The bad thing about vectorizer or the annoying thing I should say is that you can only vectorize a single image at a time. You have to open loads of tabs if you want to do it more quickly, but it's still a very tedious and boring task. I always wished that there was a way to do this in bulk. My wish has been heard. Essentially, now there is a way to use Vectorizer in bulk and for free as well. And I'm really excited to show you this in this video. And the way this came about is in my digital downloads mid journey tutorial where I'm using Vectorizer and my designs. The founder of my designs actually thought, wow, this Vectorizer tool is so good. We have to implement this into my design so people can literally use it in their workflow in bulk. He's also said to me that the vectorizer bulk function will maintain a part of the free plan whilst the vectorizer website itself is free while that is still in beta. And the free plan of my designs, in case you didn't know, it currently doesn't have a time limit attached to it, which is really good. But in future, this may change. So they might introduce a trial period soon for any new accounts that get the free plan. So if you've ever been on the fence or if you are on the fence about trying out my designs, now is the time to get signed up because if you sign up now, you won't have a time limit. If you sign up in a few weeks or whenever that trial gets introduced, then you only have a limited amount of time to, to test and use these free features. So to get signed up to my designs, all you have to do is click the link in the description that will bring you to this homepage. And then if you click get started for free, all you need to enter is your name, a password and an email address to sign up to an account. Once you've logged into your account, it will bring you to the dashboard. You will want to head over to the listings tab right here and click on home to create a new collection or a folder, you could call it as well, where you will save all your images too. So essentially, I'm just going to create a new folder right here in my uh, YouTube collection and I will call this one vectorize, but you can also give this a name depending on what sort of files you're vectorizing you can, so you can find them easily later on so if it's animals if it's I don't know July the 4th stuff depending on that you can give this a different name in terms of the template I'm just going to select the default one right here and then hit add new folder now I'm going to select this folder from down here and hit open now we've got this empty folder or collection essentially and we need to upload our designs that we want to vectorize in order to do this click the upload button up here select upload not Excel file just a normal upload right here and then you have to drag and drag drop files from your device. So I'm going to just select some from my mid journey t-shirt design prompts video. Just take some of those as an example. Once you've dropped all of your files into here, hit upload all in the top right corner and click upload designs. Once all of your images have finished uploading, the next thing you need to do is click on this button right here and select all of them. And now we can start with the bulk actions. Now, when you click on actions right here, there's a long list of them. At the bottom, we now have vectorizer. Before I vectorize these, I would like to give you another optional step. This is optional. You don't have to do it. it depends on your types of images or whether you want to do it yourself manually. So remove background. We're going to click on this first and this feature costs credit. So it's not free. That's why I'm saying it's optional, right? You don't have to use it. But essentially in here, I'm going to use the default file, which uh, holds our original images from mid journey, 1000 pixels. And I'm going to create a new file slot by clicking on this plus symbol right here. And I will call this one no background because once we've saved these images with the bulk background remover, they won't have a background anymore. So that slot has now been created. I'm going to select that right there and hit remove background. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, continue. And now this job has been added to the queue and it's running through the listings. So that job is usually done quite quickly. I'm going to double click on the no background slot over here right now and change the view. So as you can see, it's done a really good job of quickly getting rid of the background for us. After that, we're going to switch back the view. We're going to use the vectorizer. So once again, head to the actions panel while having all of the listings or images selected, click on vectorize. And now for the input file slot, you want to use the no background option. If you did that step, if you didn't, then just start with default and the output file slot. I'm going to call this one SVG because that's essentially what we're creating. Hit the green icon to create that slot and then hit vectorize 
image. And once again, processing up here, each of these is now going to be turned into a vector file, which is amazing. Lots of time savings. And we can also export these vector files as high pixel PNGs afterwards with my designs in bulk, which is another additional optional step I will show you. You don't have to do that, but if you need your files in PNG and say 5,000 pixels or something, then my designs will help you make that very easy and seamless as well. And there we go. All of the SVG files have been created. Really, really good. 24 listings done very quickly. And now if, if you're done with all of this, if you just wanted the SVGs, then you can head up to actions, click on download as zip right here make sure you only have the svg slot selected and then hit download right at the bottom but if you want png files instead like most print and demand sellers then you can use the canvas system for this so click on canvas right here whilst you have everything selected make sure to change the input file slot to svg and then this over here is where you can change the canvas size or dimensions so you'll notice mine is set to the merge by amazon dimensions because i've used this before for that for that purpose and once you've selected your canvas size just move the svg the vector into the center or however you want it to be aligned make sure it's actually within the canvas and not like overlapping so i'm just going to center this you could also use these alignment buttons up here if you wanted it to be aligned to the top or something else and uh, once you're happy with your alignment just hit sync right here this green button and that is going to sync it with all of the other listings so they'll all now have the same layout as this png file essentially which we can save to a new slot so where it says output file slot click on this plus symbol and call all this uh, maybe png you can put the dimension in there but you don't have to click the green tick mark right here and then hit yes and now in the bottom right corner you can select the output file slot which is at png for default and then hit apply and once again that has been added to the job queue it's very very quick and then we will see right here we've got even a new file slot so now we've got original terrible uh, mid journey dimensions with a thousand pixels we've got a thousand pixels without a background we've got svg high quality no background and we've got png high quality no background svg is infinitely scalable that's the one advantage of this png file but you often need png for print on demand websites to upload the files successfully to products and here we go i've opened up all of the svg files in illustrator and as you can see this has done a really good job once again high quality just like we're used to with vectorizer and because of my optional step if I drag this off the artboard as well, you can see that the background has been effectively removed. Outline mode as well shows there's no random objects around the edge. Looking through some of the other files as well right here, we can see that it's done a really good job everywhere. Background removed and all of these have turned into high quality vectors. If you're using Mid Journey for print on demand, then you will definitely benefit from watching this video next where I share 12 t-shirt design prompts with you that will help you get better results.